So, dating. We've been married almost 24 years. Yeah. I know. Here we are talking about dating. Well, what was it like when we first started dating? Oh my goodness, that was a long time ago. But it doesn't seem like it was a long time ago. Yeah. Why is it important to date? To me, it's to get to know the person you like, right? That's right. You know, you get to know what their likes are, what their dislikes are, what they want to do in the future, you know, and have fun together, things like that. But as we get older and our relationship changes, sometimes we quit dating. Why is that? We should never quit dating. But it just changes with the seasons of our life. It looks a little different. But even still, now, I'm still learning a lot about you. You know, one thing you are learning <laughs> is that I have discovered your razor. This may be a TMI <laughs> moment. Your oh, razor, Lord. I've discovered your razor in the shower is so much better than mine. As you can tell, <laughs> nice and slick, and it's the Gillette Venus razor. It's incredible. So... Guys, if you're bald or you want to shave your head, Gillette Venus. Talk to your wife, tell her to buy those razors <laughs> and use them. All right, get back on track. Dating. Dating is super important because you and I work together literally 24-7. We work together. We go home and work together. <laughs> and, you know, we have to be careful that... Our conversations, it's not always business when we go home. And so that's the important thing of date nights, that it gives us a chance to step back from the kids. Yep. It gives us a chance to take a breath and just... Have fun with each other. Have fun. It doesn't even have to be a glamorous date, you know? I mean, it can be a cup of coffee or we could go up to the mountains one day. I mean, fill up. He doesn't get out of school uh, on Fridays. He's kind of cut into our days off. But, I mean, Fridays is our day off, and those are our days that we take advantage of when we want to have a date day or whatnot, and we can run up to the mountains and just have fun with each other. These are the moments that we get to talk about our dreams, how they've changed, or what we want to do, or plans of the future and things like that. So it does take us out of our box and we get to have fun with each other. We get to have adventures with each other too, whether it's hiking forever and ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or you know, cooking something that we like. It's, it's just, these are the moments that are important. And you know, the thing is, dating, it's important, not only for us, it's important for our kids to see. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, but you're married. Yes, we're married. We still go on dates. And no, you can't, can't go. go. <laughs> You can stay home. Right. That's our time. Yeah, but we have to be intentional with it. I mean, we're not perfect with it, and we've went years without being intentional with our dating time because of busyness or just not scheduling it. We're the worst when it comes to spontaneous stuff. We have to plan to be spontaneous, which is ridiculous. But it, it's one of those things that if it is not planned, it doesn't happen. We end up vegging out in front of the TV, and then we're like, what did we do tonight? So we have to be intentional with it. And it's so funny because we'll plan weekend trips with each other. And the kids are like, excuse me, why can't we go? And we're like, no, this is time for us. And I think it's important for them to see that because we're taking the time to be with each other. We only have our kids for a short amount of time in our house. So once they're gone, we kind of have just each other and we want to be in a healthy relationship, talk about our dreams, and have fun with each other. We don't want to be, heaven forbid, a couple that goes our separate ways and does our own thing because we've created hobbies separate from each other. Right. We enjoy each other's company, and that's what we want to continue to do even in our busy season. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, families come in, we see families come in, and we love having conversation in the camera room with families as we're photographing them. And question I always ask, what do y'all enjoy doing as a family? And they'll tell us, oh, we enjoy playing board games. But then I'll ask, what do y'all enjoy doing as a couple? And 
oh, our thing is going hiking. And so it's really cool when we photograph families to hear those conversations in the camera room about what they do and how they interact with each other. And yes, it's they go on dates. They schedule time with family, but they also schedule time together as couples. Oh, yeah. I think that's that's super important because, oh my gosh, I look back on all the dates we went on. Matter of fact, during COVID, we were just talking about <laughs> this. During COVID, we were absolutely crazy because we had been cooped up in the house with the kids and stuff was closed and we just couldn't live life as we normally did. Yep. And it drove us crazy as well as probably everyone else in the world. Yeah. So finally, we told the kids, okay, y'all stay home. Mom and dad's going to get something to eat. Well, you can't go in a restaurant. I don't care. <laughs> so we literally go to a, an Italian restaurant and you had to call ahead. They'd bring it out or bring it to the door, hand it to you. And so we did that and we drove to the back of the restaurant's parking lot. It was nothing but woods. We stared into the woods, sat in the car, and ate our Italian, and we had so much fun. It, obviously, we're still talking about it. <laughs> it was peaceful. No kids. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> so, yes, dating is just as important as family time. Oh, yeah. And I think also it goes into dating your kids, too as they're getting older or even if they're young taking the time to go on individual dates with mm. your kids because i mean they're used to the family doing something together you know and we're and there again we're not perfect at this and i'd love to be better at it but intentionally scheduling time one-on-one -on -one with each kid because they react differently individually to you and you can have certain conversations with them. Yeah. And to me, it makes them feel special and they can talk about their dreams if you can pull it out of them. <laughs> Teenagers, you know, always answer with, okay, and Alex has always been, you've always been great at pulling more than a yes and a okay from our kids with certain questions and I just think that's important to have those moments with each individual kid to have those conversations and have fun with them individually you know Philip there for a couple of years he got that but Allie's always known Philip there yeah because she's the youngest and it makes them feel special I feel more connected to each kid when we have those one-on-one -on -one moments with that being said one thing that I love about our family portrait that we have displayed in our home. Every time I look at that portrait, I think of things we've done as a family, but then I think of things that we've done with our kids individually and things that we've done places we've gone, just you and I. Yeah. And so it's pretty cool to have that portrait as a reminder. All these flood of awesome memories come back just having that portrait displayed in the home. Yep. It's our story. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, that's one thing that we've talked about before. Everyone has a story. And even though we're married, dating each other is a big part of that story. Absolutely. <laughs>